Welcome to Excellent CAD. My name is Ajay Anand. In this video, I will show you how to fill the blank cells of a dataset using the fill up and fill down option in Power Query. To fill these blank cells using the data in the adjacent cell above, select a cell in the dataset. In the data tab, click on from table slash range. Okay. Data is loaded into the Power Query Editor. To fill these blank cells using the data in the adjacent cell above, right click on the column, fill, down. The blank cells are all filled. To load this data into our Excel worksheet, close and load, close and load to existing worksheet. Now select the cell where you want to place the data. Okay. Let me add some more data here. Copy. Paste. To update the output table for the newly added data, right click, refresh. The output table is updated and you can see there are no blank cells here. Now one more example for the use of fill up and fill down option in Power Query. Here is a data set from which I want to create two pivot table reports. First of all, let me explain what this data is about. This is the list of 23 movies of Marvel Cinematic Universe, also called Infinity Saga, which were released in three phases. The first six movies fall into phase one, the other six into phase two, then the remaining 11 into phase three. Third column contained the year of releases. These two movies were released in 2008, then these two in 2014, these three in 2017 and so on. So I want to create two pivot table reports from this data. The first report should contain the total revenue for each phase. Then the second report should contain the year wise revenue. That is the revenue for each year. But the problem here is these blank cells in this source data are not good for creating pivot table reports. So before creating the pivot table reports, we have to fill the blank cells like this. Let us see how to make use of fill up and fill down option power query for this task. Let me undo this. Select a cell in the data set. In the data tab, from table slash range, okay. Data is loaded into the Power Query Editor. To fill these blank cells using the data in the adjacent cell above, right click on the column, fill, down. Now the third column for here. To fill the blank cells in this column, Using the data in the adjacent cell below, right click on this column, fill, up. Now the blank cells are all filled. To load this data into the Excel worksheet, close and load, close and load to existing worksheet. Select the cell where you want to place it. Okay. You can see the blank cells are all filled. To create the pivot table reports from this data, select a cell in the table, summarize with pivot table, new worksheet, ok. For the first report which contains the phase wise revenue, drag and drop this field called phase into area for rows, phase 1, phase 2, phase 3. Now the field called revenue into area for values and here is the first report containing total revenue for each phase. For the second report, which contains the year based revenue, copy this pivot table, paste it here, unmark the checkbox for phase, drag and drop this field called year into the area for rows. And here is the second report containing year wise revenue. 
I hope the concept of fill up and fill down is clear to you. For feedback and discussion, please make use of the comment section. And those who are visiting this channel for the first time, subscribe and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any video cases. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.